Hey everyone, once again. Um, so, most of you guys that play guitar um, have pedal boards. And, well, whenever I first bought pedal boards, I didn't know exactly how to set them up. And exactly which one goes where and, you know, all this. So I've studied and studied and studied. And after hours of looking and stuff, I, uh, you know, made mine. And today I'm going to help you, you know, in a matter of minutes, find out exactly what to do. So anyway, um, let me turn on this light. This is my pedal board. Um, first I can tell you what I have is tuner. This is a drop tune pedal, very nice. Uh, noise suspensor, noise compression and sustain. Crybaby wah, um, those are just toggle switch or switches. Fraser, chorus, delay. Um, that's a bot, these are bosses and hardwire. And then that's a hardwire distortion. Uh, boss acoustic. An EQ. The best way I found out how to do this was because I didn't know where to put the compress the compression and the noise suspensor. Some people say put them at the end, put them at the beginning, whatever. This is the way I found out. That was the best. How I did this is you take your guitar cord and you just plug that in your tuner. That tuner goes right here into your drop tune, which that's my drop tune. Like, not many people have those, but anyway. Um, then you put it into your crybaby. And then after that, by the way, if there's any guitar, any pedals you must have on a pedal board, I would say a noise, susp noise suspensor, suspensor and, like, stuff to get your tone better. Not necessarily 40 effects, okay? You don't need all the effects in the world, unless you're, like, YouTube or some shit. Um... Compressor and EQ. Those are the three I really suggest. And maybe and a crybaby if you know what soul is. Um, anyway, you put it through the tuner, through the crybaby, and then you put it in the noise suspensor. And what you do is in the noise suspensor, you put it in the input. And then here's the here's the part where it gets really cool. Basically, with the noise suspensor, you make a full loop around here and bring it back. So what you do is you put it in the send, and the send will go into the compressor. And then it goes into the metal zone, or metal, your distortion. So you have noise suspensor, compressor, metal zone, you know, other distortions. This is just an acoustic. And then your EQ, so you can EQ these sounds. Then you take a wire here and then put it into your effects, you know, wherever. I don't know how your board looks. And then you have your effects, which I have three effects right here, your boss, or your phraser, chorus, and delay. And then what you do, this chord would usually go into the amp. What I do is I take this cord and wrap it around here and bring it back into the return of your pedal, of your noise suspensor. And then your output, your output pedal. So you see how there's four? There's four right there. Really take advantage of this because it, it helps you a lot. And then you take this out and then you put it into your amp, which I just have a Marshall. But um, this is probably the best way I've ever done this. Um, so if you have comments or whatever, if you think I'm doing it wrong, you can go ahead and comment. I really don't care. Um, this is my opinion. But if this can help someone else out and give them better ideas, because a lot of them I read online, they really don't know what the fuck they're talking about. And it really kind of can get on my nerves a bit, which I'm not saying I do. Um, this is just the ways I've learned from other guys that I thought were very professional. But anyway, I, um, I hope this helps you out. And then... You can get the best sound you can get. Um, but yeah, um, if you like the way I do it, I have other videos of gear and um, guitars and whatnot. But yeah, um, good luck. Enjoy.